Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amudan Shaktivel, and today we're gonna see where we, you know, uh, some interesting topic from where we left, you know, in the previous part. If you are new here, please check the pre previous video so that you can correlate what's what's happening in this video. Again, uh, today uh, we'll try to fix all the existing issues that's uh, still there in the test classes. We have few more optimization that we need to do, and we'll also see how how we can create a new driver class. You know to perform our driver initialization and uh, you know tear down operations again uh, we'll also make the framework a little robust you know this is the only rule that we haven't touched so far so we'll we'll also see that and if you don't know what is the rules for developing the framework maybe you need to check my previous parts so that you can understand what you know we are working on some rules based on that you know we are creating our framework so please make you know remember that thumb rule while creating the frameworks okay and we're also going to use some object class to perform null and null non-null checks okay so we'll see that anyway this is going to be the agenda for this video and uh, you can note this but yeah let's go to the you know test class and first we need to optimize the what of the code that existing here and if you notice we have login page test home page test right so if you notice um, you know i don't want people to extend this uh, login page test okay for some reasons you know people may extend this particular thing okay i don't want people to do that because i don't have you know any reason to you know for this has to be extended so i'm making this as final again people can still create an object from my page layers to the to the login page test right so i don't even want to allow that so what i can do i can create login page test okay constructor and then i can keep it as private one so that nobody can create an object for this particular login page test the same way we're going to create a constructor for home page test and we're going to keep it as Okay, private and the same way we're gonna assign final variable uh, to this particular class so that no one can extend this home page test okay, let's go to the base test and we can we can see uh, i cannot keep this final if i keep this final i cannot extend from home page and login page so i cannot keep this as final okay that's fine then then what else we can do but i don't want people to create an object for this because it you know uh, anyway whatever the class is extending this will always have the access to this before method and after method right so what i can do uh, i can just uh, create a private construct okay now everything is set now we have fixed some issues here okay so also see or oh, it's showing some error okay implicit super is not visible Again, I cannot keep it as private, so I have to keep it as protected because it needs to be visible to all the child classes, right? So I need to keep it to protected. So again, we 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 try to push it to private, but we cannot keep it as a private. So what we have done? We have we have moved to protected. Okay, this is why we need to be aware of all the access modifiers so that we can use them accordingly. So you you should not grant them easily like the public access. If you don't give or create any you know uh, constructor, it will be by default public. Okay, it will have a default constructor with a public access modifier. But I don't want to do that. So okay, let me at least keep it as protected. Okay, so this is how we need to you know continuously improve. And now we have done everything right. So we have optimized our test classes. Now it's time to move this particular set of code. You know, because this all deals about driver initialization and quitting the driver. Okay, it has nothing to do with my test case. Okay, my test case starts here. It predominantly revolves around the test case. Again, the, uh, this is predominantly we need to move this to a page layer, but we will keep that for another day. But for now, we our main focus is to move this to a some place which is more relevant to this. This is one of the rule, right? Keeping right thing in the right place. Again, this is more about driver initialization. We don't want to keep it here. Okay, then what I can do? I have to move to SRC main Java because I cannot keep in resource because resources for having all your uh, you know uh, you know the property file J JSON file YAML files and we are not going to use this SRC main resource and test resource I cannot keep it there it, it it does not belong to test cases so obviously I have to go into the SRC main Java again in the SRC main Java we have already one package but it the package clearly tells it's gonna hold only the constants value okay so we cannot keep it in that particular package so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create a new uh, new package and this package let me name it as com dot 
TMB and TMB is the testing mini bytes, right? So if you are new here, please check out the previous uh, videos so that you can understand the naming conventions. Again, we can name it as uh, driver. Okay. Now we, we have created a package which tells it, it, it gonna hold all the classes related to driver. Okay, let me create a class. Okay, this class basically we can name it as driver. Okay, because it's gonna hold all the stuff related to driver. Okay, and now if you notice we have, you know, this whole thing. Okay, I can cut, copy paste this whole thing and move there. But the problem is, okay, the before method and after method annotations, you know, they are belong to test kit. Right, so I need to keep them in the tests. So what I can do, you know, I have just to, I need to shift this to another method in this particular driver class. So what I can do, I can create some method like okay, public static y, some method like in a driver. Okay, so we're initializing some driver here. Okay, so what I can do, I can cut it and paste it here. Okay, the same way for tear down. Okay, public static y. Maybe I can say quit driver, okay. And what is what it gonna do? It's gonna driver dot quit, right? Good. Now I can remove this whole thing from here, okay. But I can call them from here, okay. These are all the chatting methods, right? And I don't this need this here. I need to move it here. Since I don't want to, you know, expose uh, uh, non-static methods, so what I have done, I have exposed my static methods. If I have static methods, I cannot alter my uh, uh, non-static variable. So, so what I have to do, I need to add static. And for now, we can keep it as public. Okay, we can change the access modifier later. For now, we'll keep it as public. Now all the errors are gone. Now, just in your before method, you have to just call. No, driver is the class where I have my init driver. Okay, just call this method. Okay, we're just moving the code there, but we have the control here. We're controlling everything from our test class, but the code is still lying in the uh, uh, driver class, right? So we are just moving the code there, but the control is still in your test methods. Again, driver dot uh, quit driver. Okay, after everything, I need to call the quit. Now we have some un unused imports here. Okay, what you can do, just press Control, Shift and O, all this will be removed. Okay, now if I go here, again, it cannot find the local variable, the driver, because previously we extended the base test, it has the driver variable, so it understood what is driver. Now it doesn't know about driver, so for now, for now, we are using like this, but this is not a good approach, but still for time being, we are using like this, okay? We have bigger problems to solve before solving this, so first we'll solve that. I'll just press Control, Shift and O, and import it from this particular thing okay the same way would we'll go here okay control shift and woe and then it should pop you up with all the okay i think i didn't try to try one okay we press control shift and woe now and you put it okay same way okay good so now we have sorted out all the issues. Okay, let's save this as well. Again, I don't want three tests for now. So let me remove at least one test from here. So we have only two tests. Okay, we, we are not interested in multiple tests. So we have one test in our login page test, one test in our you know, home page test. Okay, this is enough for now. Okay, now let's go here. Now the cloud looks much clean, right? So so I'm, I'm a new tester. I, I have been assigned to this project. I came here, they asked me to write one new, you know, test case. So I come here, I, I see, you know, I creating a new test case. And what I do, I'm again calling driver dot in driver. Because I don't know that there is something, you know, called, you know, before method in the base test. So it, it will invoke. So I don't know. So th th there are very less chances that it can happen. But if someone, if someone in some case calling like this, okay, what will happen? It will create two Chrome instances, okay? But before that, first let me, you know, come on this and then check whether everything is working fine. Okay, so let's try to check. Okay, go here, let's run as test ng suite. So, so I will explain you why, why we need to, you know, do this thing, okay? But for now, just let's just check whether everything is working so far, you know, fine so far. Okay, we have moved our code to this. Let's just check. If there are some issues, we will fix them. 
we are taking step by step guys so we we kept the code in the home page test you know then we thought okay why you need to keep it here we want to move it to base test then we moved there and uh, what then we thought okay it's not belong here so we moved to driver okay this is the approach how we can follow to design a framework okay so now it's it worked and let's also see whether it is again working yeah let's start the second test now but it, it will absolutely work fine there is no issues right so now for some reasons okay someone is again calling this method okay let's let's say uh, it's there are very less chances but as a framework we want to avoid all this all these possible issues we cannot guarantee that people may not again call it call this particular method okay so suppose if i if i am calling this again okay what will happen for the first first time it's a little open true browser because the before method okay will again it will create a driver instance again your home page will create another driver instance so this is not what we want right so it will create one extra chrome driver right the chrome window let's see it has opened one it's from your before method okay now it will also open again okay let's see and it has opened something else Mm -hmm. Let's just check. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. So this time we have one one window extra, right? Even though our test ran successfully, but we have one more window. Okay. So this is not what we are intended to do, right? So so this is the problem now. So what we can do, you know, if even someone is calling like this, okay, we need to. change you know adapt our framework you know uh, so that you know we need to fix all these things right so we, our framework should have the capability to avoid this so it's very it's going to be very simple guys so first i am just checking if driver equal to equal to null if the driver is null then i want to do this because control a and press control i for the alignment so i will explain what will happen by default your constructor you know the default constructor in uh, this driver class will initialize this to null so the first time it will check if driver is null okay so in the before method what will happen okay it, it is calling any driver so it will come here it will check yes, yes the driver is null now so it will create a new instance okay when it goes to the home page test okay again people are calling this okay so this method will be called again but this time the driver is already you know having some value so this particular if block you know will stop you you know the, the you know thread to perform these steps okay so you are avoiding just by adding one simple if if condition you know you are you are you are avoiding the lot of issues right so this is what we we want our framework needs to be very stable all right that's what we tell our framework needs to be robust to handle these kind of issues okay now once this is done okay the same way you can also implement here okay if driver not equal to null okay then only i want to quit okay because if for some reason if driver is already null okay your browser closed abruptly because you, your test has you know some reasons it it failed abruptly so what will happen even if your test fails okay suppose condition your test fails here and then it abruptly closed the browser whatever reason okay then the driver is already null okay if if it is already null or, or someone manually assign null value to it okay some 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 reasons okay so in that case it will again call this driver dot quit and again it will throw some configuration issues we don't want to do that so if only if the driver is not equal to null then quit it okay once you quit it also set set it back to null so that again for the next you know set it back to null so that you know we can use it in the next thread when when we assign it back to null it will normally assign it back to null but for some reasons if it's not so we are again back, assigning it back to null okay so that this condition matches for the next test case okay so just by avoiding two simple statements we have you know we have solved this issue you, suppose if you run the test now even if you have this multiple multiple times it doesn't going to impact us okay and if you notice we are writing this driver equal to equal to null and driver not equal to null but the But the thing is, Java guys have already created some, you know, you you know, methods that can help us to do the, perform this check. Okay, so just type objects. Okay, objects dot. Okay, this is coming from your Java util guys, Java util objects class. So if, if you no, notice, there is something called as is null method. Okay, just pass the object that you want to 
do the null check okay it will check for nullability okay if it is null it will do this operation again the same way okay objects dot non null one when it is non null okay what is the object object is driver when the driver is not null quit it so we are using the methods that is created by java developers we know java developers are better developers than us so we'll try to utilize whatever they have already created okay instead of creating our own stuff so now we have we have still this okay let's see how many windows are getting open now okay maybe i'll run as testing this suite this time it should only open uh, two 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 windows for two test case not three windows okay so th this is how guys this is how we going to approach the entire framework session so if you are new here please watch the previous video so you, so that you can get a good connectivity what i am teaching now okay which again is opening chrome okay and bring the url so it will enter testing many bytes so if you if you are new here to this channel guys please please do subscribe okay i, I receive a lot of uh, good feedback from people so it will it will help me to you know continuously improvise the way I, how i teach and uh, what are the contents that i need to include so so if you are new here please do subscribe yes good this time we have only two browsers open and two browsers are closed we don't have any any extra browsers cut you know so even though you add it multiple times it doesn't matter so we have now fixed one particular issue right so this is this is all the agenda that we had for this session but the problem with this approach is you know if i run this test in parallel okay this test will fail okay uh, we will see about that in our next next session so until then you all have a you know uh, good day and good time okay we'll connect in the next session